Hi, I'm Ryan McSherry, analytical gas product specialist here at Yoke Gala. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a GD402 analyzer for hydrogen purity applications. These analyzers come from the factory, only set up to, to measure gas density. So when you order one with the intention of using it for hydrogen purity, you're going to have to go through these couple of steps I'm about to show you here for commissioning. Okay. First off, you're going to take off the front cover. It's four Phillips head screws around the corner. I've gone ahead and done that. Okay. Once you take that off, you're going to press the star key here to start. Okay. You're going to press no until you get to service, and you're going to click yes. Okay. We're going to change this code to five zero. Now to make numbers go on this display here, all you have to do is you just keep going up. See so if you pass it, it doesn't matter. You just keep going again, and it resets. Okay, so you got code five zero. We're going to press enter. Okay, now this is actually setting the unit um, for for what purpose it's going to be, you know, basically used for. Right now, this model zero indicates that it's a gas density uh, analyzer. We want this to be hydrogen purity, so we're going to go up to two. You make that model number two and press enter. Okay, now it's a now it's a uh, hydrogen gas purity analyzer. Okay, and then you're going to have to do a couple more steps. Okay, first off, <clears throat> you're going to go to, you're going to press yes on service again. You're going to go to code 12, so up once, over once, up twice. Press enter. Okay, these values here can be found uh, on your pressure and compensation unit. Um, they're printed on the top, as you can see, in the uh, upper left-hand part of the screen, in that window that just showed up. Okay. You're going to enter these values in. In this case, it's 000 0.10. Press enter. And your span is 588.50. Press enter. Okay, now that that's set, you're going to click yes. And we're going to go ahead and uh, set the unit up, unit up for uh, commonly used units in America. Um, this is going to be, we're going to go first to service code 20. Okay, press enter. Okay, this is pressure units. Okay, so zero is the default, that's KPA. Um, PSI is a common application here, so we're going to change it to the two. Press enter, okay. Click yes again. <clears throat> and this time we're going to go to 23. Press enter again. Okay, these are your temperature units. Uh, the unit comes from the factory set for uh, measuring degrees Celsius. We're going to go ahead and change this to Fahrenheit, which is, uh, again, the, the common unit used here. Okay, up one, press enter. Okay, now it's good for measuring temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, then one more unit we're going to change is the density unit. You're going to go up to 2, and then 1, so code 21. Press enter. Okay, density units, it comes from the factory showing kilograms per cubic meter. Um, we're going to go ahead and change this to pounds per cubic feet, which is the standard here as well. Okay, up 1, enter. There you go. Okay, so now your units... Um, you know, the setting, settings are fine. If you go to press min, mode, sorry, mode, uh, it's kind of like an escape key. It puts you back to the main screen. You can see now that density is being measured in pounds per cubic feet. Um, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to set up a couple ranged outputs. Uh, most people have these running out to some sort of data acquisition or control unit. So what we're going to do is you're going to press star one time. On that range there, click yes. Okay, output one. We're going to modify that, so click yes. Press no until you get to HA. Okay, this is for hydrogen applications. Click yes. Okay, this is going to be your zero. This is going to be four milliamp output, um, you know, on a four to twenty basis. So, so basically put this at the bottom of what you could expect. Okay, 85% is a pretty common value for hydrogen purity applications, so we're going to go with that. Okay, press, or, sorry, press enter. Okay. In our span, that's basically going to be 20 milliamps on the 4 to 20 milliamp scale, 100% uh, common. You know that means you have basically the maximum output is going to be 100% hydrogen in your stream, which is good for hydrogen purity. Okay, press enter. Okay, now that's set. So you have your main, your your first output. That's that's done. Okay, now uh, another common uh, thing people want to set is their output for while they're uh, purging. Okay, so so typically when you purge in a hydrogen purity application, um, you're going to purge a CO2 first, so, you know, so there's not a combustible environment, and then uh, you know purge that CO2 out with air, and then 
you know, basically just start over the whole process. So I'm going to show you how to set up output 2. So you're going to click yes on range, no for output 1, yes for output 2, no till you get to HCA. Okay, this is your hydrogen and CO2 and air and CO2 measurement. Yes. Okay. So a common zero um, value is zero. I mean, if you if you want to show that you have zero hydrogen in the, in the reactor, or you know zero air percent in CO2, um, this is going to be this is going to be what you're going to select. Um, you know, these all basically vary for for different companies and different processes. But we're going to go ahead and put zero in for this. Press enter. Okay, your span's 100%, so that would mean that you know there's either 100% hydrogen and CO2 or 100% air and CO2. These, you know, these both happen if you think about it. You know, zero to 100 scale makes sense for purging application because you go from having basically you want a pure amount of that that one substance in there and basically wiping it completely out with another one. Okay, so you're gonna hit enter on that. All right, and uh, now we can go ahead and basically your unit's set with outputs and everything, but I'll go ahead and show you how to set up an alarm too. So you're going to hit the star key one more time. Press no for range, no for cal, yes for alarm. Okay. All right, and you want your alarm to be for a hydrogen application. In this case, we're just going to do, you know, a low hydrogen alarm. So yes. Okay, low hydrogen, 95%. Um, that's a good value if you're, if you're looking for pure hydrogen. Um, you know, so basically this would send a, an output whenever you get to 95%. So we're going to go ahead and go with this value, press enter, and mode once again to escape. And basically you're set back on your unit. Um, and we are at a low hydrogen um, value. If you click mode here, click no for S gas, yes for display, no, no, yes. Okay, <laughs> that's the percentage of uh, hydrogen in air now, which as you can see, it's below 95%, so the alarm is going off. Um, but that's it for this demonstration. Uh, hopefully this helps, and uh, your hydrogen purity unit should be uh, ready, you know, commissioned and ready to go in the field. All right, thank you.